up guys welcome back to the channel Colin McGraw here um, look excited to talk to you guys today I got a, a important question I want to answer a few people in New York City have been asking me would I ever live back in Medellin Colombia um, so I've got an answer for you I've kind of beat around the bush I've got an answer um, for those of you who don't know I was living in Medellin Colombia this time last year I've been in New York City now for about nine months um, nine, ten months, something like that. So almost a year now. Um, but people have been asking me, would I live in Medellin again? So I've got the list, like always, let's go into it. My thoughts. live in Colombia again Medellin specifically um, short answer is no no I wouldn't live in Medellin again um, however there's an asterisk there I would probably go for like three month stints so I wouldn't go for like the two years that I just did I wouldn't do that again um, I would probably go for like three to six months though let me give you the reason why I wouldn't go and live in Medellin again I'll give you the the three F's food family and football as stupid as that sounds Food, I know this is a hot topic, um, but food, I, like I just didn't love the food in Colombia. It was it's just not my favorite. It was like the same old every single day and I got tired of it easily. And the international food wasn't great in my opinion. So no, I wouldn't go because of the food. Well, that sounds like a dumb reason, but I think once you live somewhere for a while, you'd start missing that food from back home. Um, I, I, I would love if people had thoughts on this. I just feel like anywhere I've lived, I've lived in Australia before, if I go traveling like for a long time in Southeast Asia, I get tired of the food and I just start craving like, I don't know, some mac and cheese or a hamburger or I grew up on peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Still love them to this day. I really believe wherever you come from, you love that food. It's just kind of ingrained in you. That's just my thought. Family and friends, this is an easy one, but just I have a lot of family and friends in the United States. so. I love just being around my family and friends. That's an easy one, come on. Like everyone, everyone knows that. Football, as dumb as that sounds, um, I love just being around football season here in the United States. I love being around other people that I can joke around about it. I could be in a bar and be like, fins up, let's go Dolphins, baby. Allen, up, grab, gets away. Oh my goodness, how did he escape? It goes off to McKenzie, he'll drive and dance. The clock continues to tick, he picks it. up 11. Miami is one, zero's on the clock. <laughs> like I love being around my sport, my favorite sport, I love that. Um, in Colombia, as much as I wanted to get into soccer, I just couldn't do it. Just couldn't fully, fully get there. <laughs> Hey guys, if you're enjoying this video so far, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Really mean a lot. You know what? Forget the subscribe button. That's too much work. Just go ahead and like this video. Even a little like of this video goes a long way towards helping me build my channel. So appreciate the support guys. Um, all right, let's keep going. And then I'll give you one little bonus reason why I wouldn't live in Colombia again. No snow. I'm a big skier. Um, I just love being around snow. I love living in places with seasons. Medellin doesn't have any seasons. It's just hot, same weather, shorts every day. I like I like a few seasons. And you know what? Christmas does not feel like Christmas without snow. I don't care what anyone says. Christmas is not Christmas without snowfall. Mark that down. <laughs> Here's a reason I would go back though for like three months stints. Uh, the simplicity of life. This is a big one. Uh -uh. I was just talking with my buddy Joe the other day. Um, like I lived with him there in Medellin for two years. Some of the best days of my entire life living in Colombia. And I really, really mean that. However, it's not like single memories. It's just like days that kind of drag into the next day. It's the simplicity of life. Let me give you like two periods of time that I really, I think back, I think back on a lot. Number one, Arboletes. This is a small town in Northern Colombia along the beach. It's not like a popular tourist destination by any means. It's kind of a dumpy town. I wouldn't really recommend going there. But let me tell you my daily routine there. Wake up, get my coffee, was right on the beach. I walked right to the beach, had my coffee, then came back, 
wouldn't see a parrot along the way. Did some light work. And then in the afternoon, there was a ping pong table in our backyard. So you're surrounded by beautiful palm trees. Me and my buddy would get the speaker going, have a couple beers, just play some ping pong. And then we would read, hang out in ha hammocks. And then we would cook dinner together. Really simple way of life. I'll give you another time in Medellin. This was probably like a month when I was living by myself. This was my daily routine. Wake up, go to the gym, come back from the gym. I would work on my clothing business, my side business, my side hustle. I would do that for a few hours. Then I would go to my tennis lesson. I would come back, go to this nice little lunch spot near me, or I would barbecue some food on the roof. I can't tell you how simple of a life that was, but it was, I loved it. Absolutely loved that routine. Like, I'll give you a couple of other reasons why I loved Colombia, why I would go back. Jardin, Colombia is one of my favorite places in the entire world. I've been to 20 plus countries. I would go, back. Jardin is probably in the top three places I've ever been. And if you haven't been to Jardin, but you've been to Colombia, highly recommend you go to it. It's like a four hour um, bus journey outside of Medellin. It's one of the most beautiful little towns. Really simple way of living there. Definitely go to Hardy and check it out. I've never seen such a cool city that's like mountains surrounding it. And then there's like a little square in there with like a church and the whole square becomes alive at night with restaurants and music. So that's the reason I would go back. And then the people are so friendly in Colombia. I loved the people. Um, I miss the people. Being in New York is an adjustment. I know New York's not a forever city, but that's a topic for another day. <laughs> As always guys, like, comment, subscribe. Colin McGraw, see you guys next time.